You saw that definition, right? Okay, so let's get straight into this tutorial. So I'm starting off with washed and conditioned hair and I also did my rice water treatment in my hair this time. I will be uploading my rice water video soon, so make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that video. So I start off by re-wetting my hair with my water spray bottle. I have water mixed with a little bit of conditioner in that bottle. I'm just spraying that directly onto my hair just to re-wet it a little bit because it did dry out a bit in the towel while it was wrapped up on my head. And then I'm taking some of this oil mixture. It's my homemade hair growth oil. I do have a video on that coming up soon, but if you don't have your own mixture of oils that you like to use in your hair, just use any oil that works best in your hair, such as olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, any of those will do. And then I'm taking my new Holy Grail leave-in conditioner. It's the ORS Olive Oil for Naturals leave-in conditioning cream. It's infused with ghee butter and coconut. It's an intensive leave-in conditioning treatment and it's formulated to add hydration to dry and frizzy hair. So if you're like myself who's prone to dry and frizzy hair, this product will work well in your hair as well. For the record, I do have medium to high prosperity hair. So my hair does take in moisture well, but it loses moisture over time. I wouldn't say it loses it rapidly, but it does tend to look dry if I don't add extra moisture during the week. And then I'm taking the Sunny Owl Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I do prefer to use castor oil when I'm doing my wash and goes, just because it's more of a heavier oil, so that helps to add definition into my hair. I know some people don't like to use castor oil because it leaves a residue, but I don't get the residue when I use it in my wash and goes. I think definitely if you do use castor oil on dry hair, you might get that residue. And also, if you do have fine hair, you won't need to use castor oil because it'll be too heavy for your hair. So again, if you do have thick hair like mine as well, castor oil is your friend. And then I'm taking another Holy Grail product that I've been using since 2011. It's the Eco Styler Gel. I know there's mixed reviews by Eco Styler, but honestly, this works so well for me. I haven't actually even tried to replace it with anything else or tried any other product because it just does the job. It does exactly what I want it to do. I know some people don't like to use gels in their hair, so I will try out some other products to try and see if I can get an as defined look without a gel. If any of my curly hair friends out there know of any products that will give me a gel-like hold, um, let me know in the comments below and I'll give it a go if it's gonna give me as good as a hold as the Eco Gel does. Right, so all the products are in. And now I'm just really smoothing the product in and raking it through my hair as well. Just to try and get all the products to cover each and every strand. And yes, this is my number one friend of me. I love it so much, but it literally adds another 20 minutes when I'm doing my hair. It's so long, but it works so well, honestly. It's the shingling method. We all love it and we all hate it. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just taking each curl that's clumped together and I'm just smoothing it down with my finger and thumb. I'm not twirling it or anything like that. I'm just literally just smoothing it down from the top to the bottom. And that's all I do. Just basically separating the curls and just smoothing while I'm doing it. If I had the time to do shingling, I would literally do it every single time. But I mean, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, if you've got the time, just put on a movie or put on some Netflix and just go curl by curl and smooth them out. And I'm telling you, you will definitely see the difference in your wash and goes. And not only does it make it more defined, this combo and this method, it elongates my curls. Because usually my curls bunch up at the back because the curl pattern is a bit more coilier. But literally, I didn't need to stretch them at all or, or anything like that. So I was really happy about that because I didn't have to put any heat into my hair. And I was just able to let my hair air dry. So that's one section done. And I'm just going to backtrack on the method a little bit. Just to elaborate a little bit on how I actually apply the products to my hair. So with the water, 
I want my hair to be wet but not too wet and not too dry at the same time this works best for me whereas some people who have low prosperity hair might want their hair to be a bit more wet and if you don't understand anything about prosperity of the hair let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to explain that in another video so you can figure out what your prosperity is so with the product application this is really important because it can literally change your wash and go so just really pay attention to how you're applying the products into your hair as you can see i'm really working the products in my hair i'm making sure to get the product from my roots to my ends and i'm also parting into my hair to get the products in the middle of each section so i add the leave-in conditioner and the oils in the section as a whole and when i go to put my gel in i do section it off into smaller sections just so that I can catch the roots in that section as well. I try not to let any products touch my scalp because I don't like the thought of buildup developing on my scalp. So avoid your roots because your scalp might start to itch like crazy. So I'm doing the prayer hand smoother movement. I'm also raking through the curls as well once they're all clumped together. So I'm also interlocking my fingers while I'm smoothing my hair. So I do like to get my hair really clumped together. Like as you can see, it's like literally in one stiff clump. And I just work really carefully to separate the curls. The hair does get a little bit stiff once the gel goes in. So you just have to make sure to take your time when you are trying to separate the curls. Because you don't want to pull your hair out. So yeah, just really smoothing that to get into one big back clump and then raking it through to develop some sort of separation and then interlocking my fingers and raking it that way too. And once I've done that, that's when I go ahead and do the shingling. And as I said, I just smooth each clumped curl from the roots to the end. And that way I don't change my curl pattern because most of my curls are not ringlets anyway. So I don't really want to ringlet it. My curls are S curls. So I just rather just smooth them down just so that I keep my natural curl pattern. And that's how I was able to elongate my curls instead of having them shrink up at the back. So once one side is done, I go ahead and scrunch that half just to bring that bounce back into my curls instead of having them too stretched out. And then I just snap my fingers because I like to use magic sometimes because I refuse to sit down for so long doing shingling. So I suggest give that a try. Just <laughs> it just might work out. So once it's all done, I like to take some gel and go around the edges of my hair just because I do have a lot of flyaways there because I had postnatal hair loss so it came out all around my edges so I have a lot of short hair <laughs> around my hairline and I also like to get the gel on the part in where I'm going to wear my hair. I always wear a side part in so I like to add the gel there just to tame the roots there even more. And now I'm showing you how I wrap my curls when I go to my bed at night. I usually use my satin scrunchies and I put my hair up in a pineapple right at the top of my head. And then I take my satin scarf and I wrap the headscarf around my head, leaving the excess fabric to go over my curls. And what I do with my hair, I just scrunch it upwards and then I just take the excess fabric of the headscarf and just tuck it under. And then you go to bed and you wake up looking like a snack and a half. Yeah, so I'm just showing you what the hair looks like after it's dried a little bit. I did go to bed and the products were wet in my hair, but it wasn't, my hair wasn't soaking wet. It wasn't even wet to transfer onto my headscarf or my pillow. So it was pretty dry-ish. And so the next day, after I took my headscarf off, it was a little bit wet in places like where the hairband was and within an hour or so the hair was completely dry but yeah this is the results of my best wash and go combo to date i know that obviously softness can't translate through video but i guarantee you my hair was soft it was bouncy it had the hold as well on top of everything else and it was light and as you can see it has loads of movement you can see from the video <laughs> but yeah i was loving it i was loving it so much honestly 
For those who don't know me, I've been wearing my curly hair since 2011. So for me to discover an even better wash and go than I ever had before in these past nine years, this is amazing. And I had to share it. I had to share it with you guys. So if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. And for the rest of the video, I'm just gonna show you how it lasted throughout the week. It's just little clips from my weekly hair routine video that I've got coming up as well. So yeah, just continue to watch if you're intrigued to know how long this wash and go combo lasted me. And I'm just gonna apologize in advance because my bare face is in the clips a lot. And Aunt Flo was disrespecting me bad. So I have a lot of pimples on my face. And then hay fever was being an a-hole as well because somehow I managed to have matter in my eye. Yeah, that, that's not cute at all. If you see it, just pretend you didn't, okay? But yeah, thanks for watching guys. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of the future videos that I reference in this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!